Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm inside the walls of the old city of Jerusalem, which is uh, famously home to three of the Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. But there's one ethnic group that is rarely associated with the old city and that is Koreans. But lo and behold, inside the famous and ancient walls of the old city of Jerusalem is the only kosher Korean restaurant, to the best of our knowledge, in the world. It's definitely the only Korean restaurant in Jerusalem. It's a place called uh, Seoul House and we are coming tonight in uh, Chosuk, uh, which is um, a Korean festival. So they're going to have uh, delicacies. One very unique facet of this is that it's a vegetarian place, so you're not going to have Korean barbecue, but um, it's owned by a Korean lady and uh, where my wife and I actually got engaged here, so it also has significance for us. So we're going to check out some Korean food in the old city of Jerusalem. about this place that they do everything with a healthy twist so they've given us some uh, Korean tea in these little shot glasses it contains healthy spices and of course it's uh, alcohol free and it's supposed to be very healthy we're gonna try some pretty good was telling us she was born in Seoul, Korea's capital, and uh, they've gone to the full, full lengths to replicate everything in traditional Korean style, including the fact that they make these lovely little exquisite um, sort of models for the food which they have at the front of house here. Pretty small menu, of course, given that it's uh, vegetarian, there's not a huge amount of options, but we've gone for a few different things we're going to tuck in. Why did you open this uh, Korean restaurant in Jerusalem? Uh, well, I needed it, first of all. I became Jewish like 40 years ago. I started uh, keeping kosher. And I realized there's really nothing, nothing. So I was waiting somebody will come along and see all this special fermented sauces and kimchi and didn't have anything. So I retired. After I retired, I realized I just have to work for my dream. That's how it all happened. Are you the only kosher Korean in the world? So, yeah. In Jerusalem? Jer well, for sure, for Jerusalem, Israel, but most likely for the whole world. Wow. Yeah. Um, who, who finds this place? This place was a, like a show with people Daven. Oh. Yeah. And this was especially. Uh, for my husband's Rebbe, my Rebbe, Shlomo Kalibach. So it was a Kalibach shul for over 10 years. And, uh, you know, this is where the whole world started. The creation started from here, not far from here. Mm -hmm. So that's why I figured, you know, if I'm going to do something that really spreads to the whole world, that that's what I want, this is the place. Why vegetarian? You know, uh, with all the things going on today, so much uh, pollution in the food. and So I just wanted to start growing vegetables, you know, and then utilize the vegetables. And Koreans use tons of vegetables and mushrooms and, you know, fresh fish. Um, okay, final question. What do you think the Koreans, there's lots of Christian Koreans in Jerusalem, right? So, I mean... Oh, you, yeah. Yeah. So matter of fact, yeah, matter of fact, this whole design was by a really devoted Christian who really loves Israel, Israel people, you know, believe in God. And uh, yeah. Cool. Um, okay, final, real final question. What, what are your recommendations on the menu for people who haven't, who, haven't who haven't tried Korean food before? Tteokbokki, which is a hot, really... Uh, amazing 
hot means like a, everybody loves What's it. What's this called? Dookie? It's called the duck hooky. Okay. Yeah, it's like a fried duck. Duck is like um, mainly with the rice, with a with a little salt and water. And then this is the only place you can eat kosher Korean duck hooky. Yeah. All right. The only one making it. Amazing. Thanks so much, Sephora. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye.